What's going down, my peeps? We've got another Q&A coming down the pipe, and uh, we've got three questions we're going to go over today. So here we go. We are going to dive into question number one. All right, so <clears throat> people are asking lots of questions about wanting to lose body fat using cardio no weights. Okay, so <clears throat> here's the thing. There was a time on this planet when everybody knew for a fact that the world was flat. Then all of a sudden there became a time where we realized, holy shit, it's not flat. It's round as can be. Well, <clears throat> there was a time on this planet when we knew for a fact that lifting weights was not a really good primary source of losing body fat and cardio was. So people were doing, they weren't lifting weights, they were doing tons of cardio. The problem is, really what's happening is, is you are, of course it's exercise, nothing wrong with that. However, when you lift weights, you are generating more tissue, more muscle, which requires fuel. So the more tissue you create that requires fuel, the more fuel you burn, which means the, the leaner you're gonna get, the better shape you're gonna get. Not to mention <clears throat> resistance training, lifting weights is, in terms of, of your ability to burn calories, I don't like the word calories, I like to talk nutrients, but for this question, we'll use the word calories. You're gonna burn more calories lifting weights than you are sitting on some sort of a cardio machine. Now, keep in mind, if you wanna lose body fat, everybody wants to lose body fat. <clears throat> the question really doesn't even ask the most important, it doesn't bring up the most important element, which is the diet. The diet is 75% of your ability to reach your fitness goals. So <clears throat> let me get an example, and you guys probably heard me talk about this before. Let's say that you've got a pile of snow, and you've got to move that snow from your driveway into your yard so you can get your car out and go to work. That is the goal. So moving that snow into onto your yard, into your grass, <clears throat> out of your driveway, that's the task which we're comparing to losing body fat. <clears throat> okay, so you've got two different tools you can choose from in your garage. You've got basically a big old nasty, thick, wide thing, wide snow shovel, and you got like a little hand trowel that you'd use to plant some sort of, you know, some sort of a little seedling. Okay. Which tool are you gonna choose to move that snow? It's a no goddamn brainer. You're gonna choose the big shovel. You're gonna move a lot more snow. You're gonna to get to your goal a lot faster. Now, of course, if you could use them both, that would be the best. And really when it comes down to it, that's what I'm getting at. <clears throat> is you need the exercise and the nutrition, but you cannot overlook the nutrition because it is 75% of your ability to reach your goal. So again, that big shovel is, that's basically 75, that's the biggest tool. That's the tool that'll give you 75% of your progress. The little guy is the training or the cardio. So the big shovel's the diet, the little shovel's the cardio. Which one are you gonna pick? The smart person's gonna pick the tool that's gonna get the job done fastest. That's the diet. Now, <clears throat> unfortunately, most people are gonna connect the diet to restriction and always being hungry and not eating things you want well. <clears throat> here again, that's someone that doesn't know what the fuck they're doing because you know, you should program someone's diet. Like when I program someone's diet, it has to do with taking really, really good care of the body, making the body happy. I won't go too deep into that, but the bottom line is the simple rules of thumb for, for the people that I coach with nutrition <clears throat> is never hungry, never, <clears throat> excuse me, never hungry, never full. Your stomach is like a car gas tank. You don't have less than a quarter. You don't have more than three quarters of a tank. Now, if you're putting the right macronutrients in that plan <clears throat> and you're doing often, you're going to shed body fat unbelievably quickly because it's going to really, what that's going to do is that's going to 
prompt your metabolism to speed up. The cardio, that was all about prompting the, the metabolism to speed up. The problem is the cardio is like that little bitty trowel. It's, it's not even the whole trowel, it's just part of the trowel because the trowel, the little hand trowel, represented exercise. That could be cardio, it could be lifting weights, all the above. The diet is that big son of a bitch, period. That's the diet. So, <clears throat> that being said, really what you gotta think about is getting up to speed with the newest technology, so to speak. If you keep looking at what people were doing 30 years ago, it's not, you're not gonna make the same type of progress. It's almost like computers. So you could get a computer that's 30 years old and you can make some progress with it, but you're not gonna be efficient. You're not gonna be keeping up with the curve. You're always gonna be wondering why everybody is, is progressing faster than you are. Well, <clears throat> unfortunately, when it comes to losing body fat, so getting back to this exact question, to lose body fat doing cardio and no weights is literally something that is completely wrong. We, you know, years ago, 30, 40 years ago, that was the belief that was, you could argue without a problem. Now, there's really no argument to that. It, doing cardio is not going to hurt you, but it's not this silver bullet of a tool to, re to reduce body fat. The diet is that tool. Now, the key with the diet is you've got to make sure that it's designed for you. Diets wear people out because if your diet is put together in such a way where <clears throat> you don't enjoy it, if your own personal human instinct doesn't support your diet, meaning you don't want, you, meaning if, if the diet plan is not set up to where you actually enjoy it, just like anything else, every man has his breaking point. So, you know, tomorrow, fuck this shit. I'm not doing that tomorrow. Go to a real easy example. If you love to go to the movies on Thursday night, you're going to go to the movies every Thursday night, period. If you don't like to go to the movies on Thursday night, it's a matter of time for you. I say, God damn it, I'm not doing that again next week. So here again, <clears throat> most people veer away from the diet because they struggle with making it work because the diet's really not designed for them. It's some boilerplate bullshit, copy and paste thing off the net. And it, it doesn't really, it's not effective because it's not designed for the person. The, when you take a diet designed for the person, <clears throat> they're eating all the time, they enjoy the food, they're never hungry, they're never full, they're full of energy, and the fat is melting off them. That is where we are today. Not sitting on a stationary bike, hoping that you know the stubborn body fat goes away. The stubborn body fat won't go away because the body is in the mode of conservation because you're not feeding it in a way that it needs to be fed, so it's holding on. It's saving. It's, you know, saving for a rainy day. It's like a person that lives on a budget with money. He's got a budget. He's got to save. Someone's got so much fucking money coming out their ears, they don't give a shit. They're not conserving anything because they know they got more money coming in than they can spend. That's where you want the body to be. Just freaking, every time you feed it, it just burns it up. The faster metabolism goes, the leaner you get, the happier you are, the better of quality of life you're going to have. So back to the question. Not lifting weights and just doing cardio as a methodology of losing body fat, cannot agree with that. Here again, you know, 30, 40 years ago, like when I was um, 40 years ago, fuck, I've been seven years old. <laughs> that would have been a very, very good practice at that point. So, okay, <clears throat> there you go, there you have it. So one more time, to lose body fat, cardio, and no lifting weights is not a good methodology. All right. Question number two. And this question number two basically says, I'm 40, 40 years old, and my testosterone is low. Is there any way that I can naturally improve my testosterone levels? Absolutely, yes, there is, of course. Now, over 40 nowadays, we're dealing with hormone replacement therapists are all over the place. So I'm gonna start with the most powerful tools and kind of work down from there. So your question is, how do you get your test to return? The number one way is gonna be to go to a hormone, uh, hormone replacement therapist. He's gonna take your blood. He's gonna find out where the imbalances are. And he's gonna basically correct your blood work till your endocrine system is balanced out where it should be. Males' testosterone